Now we like to learn stock and other first we learn various journal entries relating to stock and data system. Then I will demonstrate you ledger account. Thereafter, we will do only one problem. So, with that one problem, we will be leaving. Understood, Appa? Okay, two questions. In another 10 minutes, beautiful break is going to come. Because I will announce the break now. Prasanna will read this journal entry for us. Stock and data system, page number 106. Friends, please stop talking. Stock and data system. Transaction. Put sent to branch at invoice price. General entry. Branch stock account account to put sent to branch account. Branch stock account at invoice price. Put sent to branch at cost price. Cash sales at branch. To branch adjustment account. Lodi. Cash sales at branch. Branch account to Branch cash account to To branch stock account to Credit sales. Branch data account to Debit to branch stock account. Sales return. Branch stock account to Debit to branch data account. Discount allowed. And bad debts written off. Branch expenses account data to branch data account. Cash collected from data. Branch cash account debit to branch data account. Cash from head office to meet expenses. Branch cash account debit to head office cash account. Cash remitted to head office. Head office cash account debit to branch cash account. Removal of loading on opening stock. Stock reserves account debit to branch adjustment account. Removal of loading on closing stock. Branch adjustment account debit to stock reserves account. Purchase of fixed assets for branch. Branch fixed assets account debit to branch cash account or to head office cash account. Transfer of balancing figure of goods sent to branch account. Goods sent to branch account debit to purchase account. Transfer of Gross profit to profit and loss account. Branch adjustment account debit to branch PNL account. Expenses at branch level. Branch expenses account debit to branch cash account. Transfer of expenses to profit and loss account. Branch PNL account debit to branch expenses account. Transfer of balancing figures from branch stock account. Branch stock account debit to branch adjustment account. Or branch adjustment account debit. To branch stock account. So kindly go through the entries, friends. For two minutes. Then on a random basis, I will ask question. Once the ten random questions, whatever asked, if they are answering, everybody will be given break. Otherwise, nobody will be given break. This is me.
Ready? Entry. Brand stock account in the balance you get a transfer under the care. Brand stock account balance in the account at a tally point of mother or a side total portrait in the side in the air. Credit side fifty thousand, debit side forty thousand. Our ten thousand balancing here or that. That adjustment again, no problem. Ambadan ayron, naapadan ayron, patta ayron. Friends, please listen. <coughs> you know the basic rules of journal entries. Now please listen, friends. Friends, please listen. When we make out these journal entries, From a transaction, we identify two heads. There are two ways of approach of making journal entry. So the American model and European model. <laughs> Please listen. One is by following the golden principles. Real personal nominal. The other by just based on identifying asset liability income expense approach. So an asset which usually show debit balance. If it is increasing, debit that, reducing, credit. A liability which usually show credit increases, credit, reduces, debit. That's that model. That way you know the entries. I'm not testing the entries there. Now the heading that you will use in the entry, the heading that we will use in the entry, I am not discussing anything about branch, I am just discussing the 11th standard introduction to accounts. Now listen, when I make the entry, we identify something to be debited and credited. So we identify the heads to be debited and credited. Is it from the journal entry we identify? Is it from the journal entry we identify? Or is it from some other accounting dictionary, some words we will use? Salary paid by cash. So it is identified from John Landry or from some dictionary? Some other words you used. It's from, it's from? So every heading that you use for debit and will be taken from journal entry. I'm sorry, from transaction. Everybody? Yes, sir. Imagine. Goods bought from Rajesh. Goods bought from Rajesh on credit. Yes, what is the entry? Yes, sir. sir, in that what is involved, sir? In the, in the transaction, what and all involved? Purchase and Rajesh involved or goods and Rajesh involved? Goods and Rajesh. What is involved? Goods and Rajesh. Everybody? In my entire statement, I never use the word purchases. So what is involved is goods bought from Rajesh on credit. So what should be the entry? 
What is the entry? Man? Correct journal entry. Good to Rajesha. Now only you said you will use the heading only from journal entry. Now like that one word is not there. So you will use now dictionary words or transaction words. In the transaction purchase no one aspect is not there. Goods. So which means you are improving which word there? Bot. So you should have made the entry bot account to Rajesh. But you are improving the word as purchases. But actually, what is involved, items involved in the transaction is goods. Now listen. Now please listen. In that case, the another question that comes is, Sir, will you account the items involved in the transaction or the action? So what is involved in the transaction is goods or the action. Goods bought from Rajesh. So you will account the action or item sir? Action. Salary paid by cash. What is the action? What is the action? I didn't ask you what did you pay? What is the action? Entry should be paid into cash, paid into cash. Sir, so please listen. Sir, so please don't disturb, friends. Okay. Unnecessary noises, sir. During discussion time, I will throw you people out. Yet. Now proceeding. Whoever, I don't know, X or Y, to that person. Now proceeding. So please understand that actually in that entry what is involved was goods, goods bought from. These are all fundamental questions that are tested in interview and you are laughing at that transactions. And you will know, you will learn like I know that to this and all. They will ask you simple things. Why this closing stock is shown on the trading credit side? Is there an income? So like that there are so many fundamental areas which are getting tested. Understood. If you go for any aptitude test of an interview, there will be writing test, there will be oral test, so many things happening. And you believe that you are already expert of that to this and that. They will ask you simple, simple things. So, when you are just making the entry, actual entry should have been goods account debit to Rajesh. Everybody. It is not purchases actually. Purchase no aspect is not there. And then, Suppose I sell goods to Ramesh, entry should have been Ramesh to goods, goods going out, it's goods coming in. But the problem is that if I use goods there, everybody, which is nothing but goods, stock, if I use that, I cannot differentiate my purchase and then the question arises, so what? I can still get my profit or loss. Without accounting for purchase and sales, will you get profit or loss? Very much. Because if I prepare the goods account, as far, this will be debited at cost to price. This will be showing selling price. Naturally, goods account only will be giving me the profit or loss. So if the financial statement ought to be prepared by my own, I can easily get the profit or loss by preparing goods account, stock account. Respond for. But it is not prepared for my own purpose. I want to report to so many people who are interested in knowing my purchases separately, sales separately. They don't want to even know my profit. They want to know only my purchases. They want to know only my sales. Like the different, different information they are requiring. Correct, Appa? In that case, we are uh, replacing such words with the different words called the purchases just to operational distinguishment of the transaction we use different different screens in front of these goods correct when the goods are bought actually what is involved is in the front of goods such goods which are bought we put a screen called purchases behind the screen who is there stock will be smiling i am there 
are then following uh, and here when the goods are sold uh, then you put a screen called uh, sales when the goods are returned back sales returns purchased goods returned back like the different different screen you put is for the purpose of external reporting suppose there was no need for external reporting i need not have these four words called purchases purchase returns and if it is my for my internal purpose alone then i definitely would not have used purchase and i would have used the term stock actually what is involved is stock my dear friends that is why still there is a so much of controversy exists whether purchase account is real account or nominal account understood it's a big controversial thing only everybody debate because if you use a screen called purchases it is appearing to be an expense if you don't use that screen it is only an real but whether you use it or not actually represent one certain things na sir so please clarify any others are making but accountants still have different different opinion so certain will people will say it is nominal and certain people will say it is real account because it actually represents stock is that clear to anyway now coming back to this for external reporting means these accounts will be made by uh, words screens called if it is for internal purpose i won't use a term screen uh, i will be using the term stock could you appreciate that so goods which actually i will be using the word called stock that is the first thing you should be knowing so goods are coming in stock debit goods goes out credit stock this is the first thing you should know is that clear to you when i buy the goods actually i debit one account called purchases when i am selling the goods i credit sales the one thing you should understand in any business when the goods are going out and not getting sold not getting it should be reduced from purchase is the second point that you should be knowing from this discussion some basics discussion sir generally a business organization buy goods debit purchases when they sell goods good goes out but not sales reduce purchases are you following up so when head office sent goods to the first it would have purchased the goods who head office would have made the entry purchase to cash only not goods and all head office would have made the entry now that purchased the goods only they are sending to whom which is not sales by head office it will be sales by branch now presently it is not sales by it should be reduced from purchase of head office it has to be removed from expense of head office understood da it has to be removed from expense of the head office could you appreciate that sir by whatever goods we are sending to the should be reduced from purchase of head office that is the next point you should be knowing please respond one more thing is that when i send the goods to the branch who sending the goods to the branch can head office book profit can we book profit absolutely not possible we cannot book the profit when head office sending goods to the branch in spite of which i will book profit i will book profit now what you actually want uh, you want to book the profit only if the goods are sold by branch correct so what i will do is that when the goods are sent i will book the profit in a special account called a branch adjustment account this is actually a profit account this is yeah i will book the profit to book the profit should i credit or debit i will book the profit through this account called branch adjustment account then at the end of the year if i see certain goods are not sold when the goods are sold i won't do any profit booking or no removal no booking but at the end of the year i will see the closing stock if the goods are not profit relating to such closing stock i will remove from this account so that this account will show the profit on only goods sold sold this is a system that is going to be followed in stock and unless you know the system sir it is going to be difficult to understand the entries are you following this so we book the profit the moment we are sending the goods please respond thinking that this profit will be realized from outsiders the moment it is not sold we should reduce the profit some goods were lost i should reduce the profit understood some goods were returned back reduce the profit goods are sold nothing don't do anything are you following this system you should be knowing the profit is getting booked before itself 
The profit is getting booked before itself when I am sending the goods itself. Correct, Appa? When I am sending the goods, I am booking a profit through account called branch adjustment account. Understood? So, thereby, head office, when they are sending goods to the branch, what head office will write? Who is going to make account? Head office or branch? Now, branch stock is increasing. Branch? Ours, our purchase should be reduces. Our purchase should be but instead of using the direct word called purchases, I use a different substitute account called the goods sent to branch account. Goods, ultimately that amount will go to purchases. The goods sent to branch will finally will go to purchases. Are you following this? So once again the entry is debit, branch stock, debit, branch stock, but at invoice price. For booking my profit, no, I will debit branch stock at credit. Goods sent to branch first price to branch adjustment profit. Profit is booked. I have also recorded as the branch stock is increased. I have also recorded my goods ready use, but directly I have not used. I showed as goods sent to ultimately goods sent to branch will go to purchase because why I know I, I should use substitute account when the goods are returned back. I should not write again as purchases. I am not buying from branch, so thereby I am using an account called goods sent to. When the goods are returned, I will ulta the entry. The net goods sent to will be reduced from purchases. Suppose I purchase goods for 5 lakhs. Respond. In that I have sent goods for rupees 2 lakhs. Respond. Now out of the 2 lakhs, 40,000 return back to me. So ultimately out of my 5 lakhs, how much used for the branch? 160. That alone I should reduce from purchases. So thereby temporarily when I am sending the goods, I will credit goods sent to branch. When I am getting the back goods back, I will debit the goods sent to branch. Finally, balance of the goods sent to branch will go to purchases. Will go to? Will go to purchase means it is adi adding to purchase. Ah? No, reducing from purchase. This is the accounting system you should know. Pa. Correct, Appa? In the stock and data system, unless you know the accounting system, it becomes very difficult. That is why I am just going by the very, very basic that when the goods are sent, when the goods are, we make the entry as branch stock debit at invoice by credit. Fast price to profit. Correct, Appa? Profit is booked. And the goods are sold, nothing. But if the goods are not going to be sold, remove the profit. Understood, Abba? Everybody. So that way, between head office, we said, in a stock and data system, in a head office will account all the transactions. Now, what are those transactions? First, you should be knowing that. Is it some thousand transactions? No, very few transactions. First, the head office sent goods. And also some. So, this is the first how we open a branch. Which branch? branch. Which branch? Dependent. dependent. Independent, na, then so many things happen there. Correct? Ha? So, it is dependent. So, most of which are having controlled by me only. With the goods, what branch will do, sir? Let us not read anything from the book, sir. Let us create a transaction. With this goods, what branch will do? You decide, na, sir. Sales. Some goods will be returned back. Some goods may be lost. Maybe something is there in the closing stock. What sales? Cash sales. Credit sales. If the good branch is selling for cash basis means that is the end. If the goods are sold on credit means then you will have collection first. Later on you ask discount. Collection. Bad debts, discount, sales returns, closing debtors. Everybody. Now, with cash, what branch will do? Expend. Remit. Closing cash. Everybody. This much only we are having a transaction to be accounted by head office in relation to branch, dependent branch, that's all. Simple things only. Correct, Appa? So, these are transactions very quickly we like to learn. First, uh, head office transferring goods to the what is the entry, friends? Branch stock account at invoice price. Goods sent to branch, cost to price. To branch adjustment 
profit difference between invoice price and cost price is that clear goods returns just ulta reverse entry that's all reverse entry goods sent to branch branch adjustment to branch stock reducing from goods sent to branch reducing from profit also reducing from branch stock also correct appa then now listen pa simple simple common entry why i i'm just thought of discussing this now don't dabba entries from the books sir uh, cash to sales cash to sales, cash to stock like that don't dabba apply common sense only everybody yes, sir. now goods are sold for cash yes, don't memorize any entry for this trans chapter Branch. you know the normal entry no yes, sir. what is the normal entry for cash sales yes, cash to sales correct yes, sales in one word i will use only for external reporting ah yes, otherwise oh, no, i don't require the screen call the sales ah yes, pull the screen then stock will be smiling so what is entry cash to stock add the prefix branch branch cash to branch stock why should i add the prefix branch i also have my own accounts sir i don't want that to be mixed with branch accounts correct appa so i have my own cash pa so whenever i have dealing with my cash i will say cash but whenever i am dealing with branch i will say branch cash so whenever i record my transaction normal accounts but whenever i make his transaction i should say it is so and so party's account correct ah so for each and every aspect relating to branch i will use a prefix branch understood ah like that cash sales entry cash to sales pull the sales cash to stock branch cash to branch stock it is not an extra entry just fine tuning the existing entry otherwise if you learn like oh you every chapter i am learning extra extra entry now you feel that oh, you overboard and headache everything understood now it is just a normal cash sales entry only correct appa so what is entry branch cash to branch stock understood credit sales nothing from the book credit sales normal entry let us to pull the screen sales stock will be smiling correct what is entry let us to stock branch let us to branch stock that's all understood so this entry will be branch let us to branch stock everybody so far how many entry 1 2 3 4 4 four entry over taken over collection from let us normal entry normal entry cash to data pull the screen no screen sir so branch cash to branch data and so friends listen head office in relation to the losses and expenses of the branch usually when we account our salary we say salary rent rent electricity has electricity charges but various expense relating to branch when we pay we don't make the nature of that expense everything we call it as expense that's all we don't want to have a complete break up of that expenses we just want to mention it is expense of the branch understood salary paid of the branch expense which expense similarly it is not only that amount paid for example you have bad debts bad debts is a loss bad debts is a expense correct so entry is bad debts to debt as usual entry now here expense to debt as branch expense to branch debt as that is why i didn't distinguish discount and bad debts discount expense branch expense to branch debt as are you following up so any form of loss you call simply as expense what expense branch expense branch expense to everybody sales returns usual entry sales returns to debt as pull the screen stock branch stock to branch debt as everybody so we have complete 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 which one hey hey stop ya yeah. 
friends, please listen. Hi. Yeah, pannega. So sales returns, brand start to brand status. Closing data is what entry na. The normal entry for closing data is no entry. Here also no entry. Now listen, listen, enough, enough. Similarly, <coughs> unless the financial statements are prepared, no entry for closing stock. So here also no entry. Respond bar. For loss of stock, beautiful entry. Now listen. Some goods at the branch are lost. Who is making accounts? Head office. Head office should record as if the branch stock was reduced. Credit. At cost price or invoice price? Invoice price because it was debited at invoice price. I should remove that stock now. Nah. Yes, if I want to remove the stock, I have to credit invoice price. Then only it will be removed. Yes, credit, Abba. credit brand stock. Yes, credit brand stock. Yes, invoice price. It's a complete loss. It's a yes, loss. Debit. Yes, brand yes, expenses. Yes, it's a loss. Yes, Debit. Yes, brand yes, expenses at at cost price because loss of stock you cannot book at invoice price you should book only at difference branch adjustment why should i debit branch adjustment because i already booked the profit now i should tell that the profit will not be realized so entry for loss of stock is branch expenses cost price branch adjustment profit to branch stock invoice price Loss of stock entry. Credit branch stock because it is fully going away. Loss to be debited only at dash price. The difference is profit debited to branch adjustment. Why do you debit branch adjustments? In logic behind that, yes, already booked. Now I should remo remove the profit, reverse the profit. Entry. Branch expenses cost price. Branch adjustment profit to branch stock at invoice price. Everybody, please respond, friends. Head office sending cash to branch. Entry will be which cash increasing? Branch cash increase. Generally, cash nurses sometimes it may be confused. So, thereby, normal convention is to use even for head office, also we we'll use head office cash. So, entry will be for head office assets only, they won't use head office asset and all. But generally, for cash alone, there's a conventional wording will be used. Correct? So, entry will be branch cash to head office cash. Now, remittance. Head office cash to branch cash. Everybody. Now, expenses made by the branch. It is expense now, expense to cash. Whose expense? Branch, ah. branch expense to branch cash. Correct, Appa? We have discussed. This was seven. Loss of stock, eight. Nine. Ten. That's all. We have closing cash, no entry. Totally only 11 entries. Sir. Everybody. Listen, friends. Now, the 16 entries, whatever you have, is actually transfer entries. So, certain things you should learn first entries, then only ledger account. But certain entries you can learn only when you prepare ledger accounts. For example, goods sent to branch account you prepare, you will have balancing figure, transfer to purchases, one entry. Goods and goods sent to branch to purchase. That is one entry. Everybody. Now these expenses. Actually, adjustment account will reveal profit, which is actually gross profit. Profit directly from sales. For against the profit, expense should be adjusted. So gross profit will come in pre and L. Which pre and L? Branch pre and L. Respond. So branch adjustment balance will come to branch pre and L. Branch expense will be transferred to. These are all transfer entries. Expense, transfer to PNL. PNL the expense. Adjustment account, gross profit transfer to PNL. That account. Current offer. Like the transfer entries will come. And in the branch PNL only will get net profit. Yes, you will get. Yes, that will be transferred to head office PNL. Yes, 
It will be transferred to head office P and Could you appreciate that? So those are all transfer entries. Pa. Goods sent to branch transfer entry. Expense will be transferred to P and L. Gross profit will be transferred to P and L. Net profit will be transferred to head office P and L. Head office P and L to branch P and L. Like that you will be making entries. Those are all purely what entries? Pa? Transfer entries. Understood? Primarily these are the entries to be made by whom? Head office. Head office. Head office. Understood? In relation to? Branch. branch. Which branch? Dependent. Which method? Stock and data system. Are all following? Just quickly glance through, th through these 11 entries, friends. Now, we have discussed the journal entries with a lot of efforts. Let us now prepare the accounts. From our first entry is a branch stock account we have. Which are the accounts that we will be preparing? Goods sent to branch. Branch adjustment account. Correct, Abba? Then branch cash. Okay. Branch debtors. Branch expenses. Everybody? Branch P and L. Everybody? So, how many accounts we have? Now listen. Seven steps into seven accounts now. What we have discussed in data system, seven steps. Now that is now getting converted into seven accounts. Branch stock, branch data, cash, expenses, adjustment, p &L. Adjustment will give gross profit. And PNL will give net profit. And then we have goods and you know, the last few minutes. Please. Stock and data system. We prepare branch stock. Whatever 11 journal entries that we have made, just putting into ledger accounts. <coughs> Branch stock, branch data, branch cash. Branch expenses. Branch adjustment account. Branch P and L. Goods into branch. Everybody? In these accounts, out of seven accounts, three accounts will have balances. Ten. Just ten minutes I have. Unnecessary, don't disturb. Shall I start? So out of these seven accounts we will have, only three accounts will have balances. Stock, debtors, cash. You will write. Two balance brought down. The opening balance. Everybody? I told you one system, we book the profit not when the good, not when the goods are sold, but when the goods are sent. Everybody. And at the end of the year, we remove the profit on goods, which are not, and that profit shall become profit in this year. A profit, which was relating to the closing stock of previous, should become profit in this. Immediately, the moment you write the opening stock, you book the profit here by stock reserve. Whatever stock reserve you are booking in the uh, branch account, no, that will be booked. Uh, so, profit element relating to opening stock, please respond. That will be booked uh, in the branch adjustment account. Right? Then we have few entries. A few entries are this way. That first, it is goods sent to branch. What is entry? 
Now listen carefully how things are posted. Branch stock account debit. Two goods sent to branch. Cost price inner column. Two branch adjustment. Profit inner column. Together you will write the invoice price in the outer column. Ultimately you should know that branch stock is debited at invoice price. Credit goods sent to branch. So that way go to credit side. Write buy branch stock cost price. Profit book. Buy branch stock profit. Everybody. That way you will be making the first entry. That is goods sent to branch. Making cash sales. Entry. Buy branch cash. Cash to stock. Cash to sales. Pull the screen. Stock will be smiling. Cash to stock. Branch cash to branch stock. Buy branch cash to branch stock. That time profit account is not affected. Just demonstrating these accounts. Credit sales. Entry. Branch set us to branch stock. Buy branch let us to branch stock. Collection from data by branch cash to branch data expenses paid by branch expenses to branch cash. Everybody, other entries I am not making the fullest entry just to demonstrate the normal flow of entries only. Correct, Appa? So, loss of stock or oh, any other thing I am not making. Remittance to head office by head office cash. Everybody, balance will be there in the closing. By balance, carry down. By balance, carry down. Please respond, friends. Branch letters will have opening balance, sales. Collection, closing balance, buy balance, carry down. Everybody, now here opening balance, goods same, total goods are available at the branch, at what price friends, minus goods sold is closing stock at invoice price. The moment you record the stock at immediately profit on this stock should be removed from adjustment to stock reserve closing. This is the profit on opening stock. This is the profit on goods sent during the year. This is the profit on total goods. Profit on total goods minus profit on closing stock is the profit on goods sold. So that profit will transfer to branch p and L. this will be transferred to now this is one entry pa stock reserve one entry is there given in the material opening stock reserve what entry can you tell stock reserve to branch adjustment closing stock reserve branch adjustment to stock reserve no entry balance in the adjustment account branch adjustment to branch p and L. correct by branch adjustment expense will go to by branch P and L. Everybody. Then two branch expenses. Entry. The line entries. Apart from the level entries, stock reserve entry, opening stock reserve, closing stock reserve, transfer of adjustment to P and L, transfer of expenses to P and L. Now net profit will go to head office P and L. That is one entry. Five entries. Then this goods sent to branch will be going to purchases, one entry. That is how all these accounts are closed. Now through these accounts only we could easily understand the six entry. If I know adjustment balance will go to p and L. I know the entry now. Are you following? That shouldn't be learned as journal entry. That is why 16 entry should break into transaction entries and the transfer entries. Transfer entry you will know only if you know the flow of posting. Expense will go to? So P and L expense. Are you following? Everybody. Good send to branch will go to? So that way entries will come. Could you appreciate that? So that is how you will be preparing this ledger accounts. Such an easy presentation. Listen. 
दिस एंट्रीज इन दी ब्रांड स्टॉक आर अ डैश प्राइस ओपनिंग स्टॉक है गुड सेंटर्ड इन वॉइस प्राइस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक एट इन वॉइस प्राइस इवन द सेल्स आर ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी एट इन वॉइस प्राइस इवन द सेल इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी एट नाउ दिस अकाउंट शुड ऑटोमेटिकली टैली by recording the closing stock opening balance plus goods and is the total goods available at the branch at invoice price yes, minus goods sold there should be nothing but closing stock yes, everybody yes, now this account should automatically because all the entries are at some entry at cost price some entry invoice price there will be difference yes, now we know all the entries are at invoice, invoice price so this account should tally now this branch stock is actually one of the internal control system or it is a controlling account for the head office in relation to branch what is a controlling account now if this is not tallying we could get lot of inference if this is not tallying why it is not tallying there are two possibilities either credit is greater or debit is greater if this stock account is not tallying then two possibilities either credit is or it looks like fun funny adjustment and all but it's not fun it's very serious adjustment if credit is greater we will assign one reason if debit is greater we assign different reason that way first you should know what is actually the difference are you following up? whether the difference is because of or whether the difference is because of if the credit is greater if the only possibility is that this sale is not at invoice price sir it is actually at price more than that actually shows the efficiency of the branch that they could sell more than invoice price so if the credit is greater i know these price are at invoice price these price are at so there be the only possibility that sale is made more than but i have booked profit only up to so the difference whatever you are getting in the debit side credit is greater na is fully profit entirely transferred to branch adjustment the balancing figure in the branch stock account is transferred to it is actually because the sales were implied that is more than we thought it was an invoice price not an invoice price sir. it is showing that so whenever branch stock account is getting balancing figure don't worry it will have balancing figure because the sales were made more than invoice price thereby this will go to why it should go to adjustment sir because it is also profit sir sir our profit is already booked now i have booked the profit only up to invoice price but branch showed more efficiency now only i have to book the remaining profit is that clear okay if the debit is greater if the debit side is then two reasons possible one reason is that sales less than invoice price possible or loss of stock or it is loss of stock if debit is greater then the difference is called uh, two reasoning one reason or if you assume if you assume sales less than entire balancing figure should go to branch adjustment it's a reduction in profit rather than loss it is a reduction in profit understood respond because we are not selling at a loss selling at a price less than doesn't mean it is at a loss because it may be more than so reduce from profit which account branch adjustment account but if you assume it is loss of stock then the balancing figure is at invoice price split into cost price profit cost price is debited to branch expenses profit is debited to branch adjustment if the debit is greater then there are two reasoning either it is sales less than or loss of stock if you assume it is sales less than invoice price super entire balancing figure adjustment no other place but if you assume that this loss of stock then the entry we know branch expense cost price branch adjustment profit together is this amount so split this using the margin what is profit what is cost price 
cost price alone debited to expenses the remaining is debited to franchises is that clear yes, sir. nothing is mentioned sir should i treat it as loss of stock or sales less than invoice price loss of stock not sales less than invoice price because generally without concern you cannot sell at a price less than you are supposed you can sell at a price more than invoice price but not allowed to sell Apo any form of pilferage, employee theft, abnormal loss, all forms of loss of stock, I can easily pull through this account called branch, branch stock account. If I physically come and verify and recording other transactions correctly, I can easily understand how much loss of stock happened there. Understood? This is a control account. But sir, all forms of loss given in the question, sir. Respond. Still balancing figure here, sir. Then there is no choice. We will assume what? Sales less than invoice price. Understood? If loss of stock is not there, now the first priority is what? But if credit is more, there is a gain. Credit is more, there is a gain. Correct? Like loss of stock, you can't think opposite of loss of stock. Sir, stock put goodies. Like that you can't think. Understood? So thereby there, there is only one possibility. What is that? Sales is more than what? Invoice price. Understood. Just take two minutes. Take a small note relating to the uh, balancing figure in branch stock. Okay. And with that, we can uh, move. In stock and data system, in stock and data system, in stock and data system, branch stock account. Branch stock account is maintained as a control account, as a control account. All the entries, all the entries within bracket, inflow, outflow and balances, inflow, outflow and balances will be recorded at will be recorded at invoice price will be recorded at invoice price thereby the account is expected to agree the account is expected to agree sometimes it disagree sometimes it does it disagree two possibilities credit being greater number 1 credit being greater number 2 debit being greater If credit being greater, if credit being greater, it implies that, it implies that the sales were made, the sales were made over and above the invoice price. The sales were made over and above the invoice price. Thereby, the entire balancing figure, thereby, the entire balancing figure will be transferred to branch adjustment account, will be transferred to branch adjustment account. Two minutes. If uh, two minutes, <laughs> if the debit is greater, if the debit is greater, if the debit is greater, two assumptions possible. 
two assumptions possible. One, one sales less than invoice price. Two, loss of stock. If sales less than invoice price is assumed, if sales less than invoice price is assumed, then the entire balancing figure, then the entire balancing figure is transferred to branch adjustment account. Then the entire balancing figure is transferred to branch adjustment account. If loss of stock is assumed, if loss of stock is assumed, if loss of stock is assumed, then the difference is split into the difference is split into cost and profit the cost and profit the difference is split into cost and profit and are debited to and are debited to branch expense and branch adjustment account respectively and are debited to branch expense and branch adjustment account respectively in the absence of information in the absence of information it will be assumed as loss of stock Everybody?